On Sunday afternoon, Princeton Chu celebrated his first year of life with his father holding him tightly. But less than a week ago, Princeton spent two days in the hospital after being shot twice in the leg. He's showing like unbothered, like he's unfazed. You would not believe this is a child that was shot twice. During the same shooting near 53rd in Aberdeen, Princeton lost his mother Patricia Chu and his maternal grandmother Lolita Wells, two generations of a family lost in just a matter of minutes to senseless gun violence. I watched my brother in the back when he wept as he was feeding his baby ice cream and cake, you know, which is and one part of me is crushed. Too distraught to talk, Princeton's father let his sister Jamisha Newson speak for him and the family who will now raise him. He hasn't been doing good at all. That's pretty much why I stepped up to the plate. You know, like, I got you. You know, from the hospital, sometimes it's like he couldn't even stand to even look at him. And so I just want to, you know, nurture him in his process and make sure that he's okay. Jamisha says her nephew has been healing quickly after this shooting. Her focus has now shifted to helping her brother raise Princeton. I have five other sisters and about 50 million other aunties. So he has aunts, great aunts, and great great aunts as well. And so if I ever fell short, if I was ever weak, I got a whole army behind me. As Jamisha and her family start the long journey to now raise Princeton, they hope their story will help curb the gun violence that has taken over Chicago. On the South Side, Christian Farr, NBC5 News.